Hi there, welcome back to my studio and if you remember yesterday uh, we masked up our seascape with the, for the watercolour and we had a look at the different options of masking and resisting so we looked at oil pastels, we looked at being careful and we looked at masking. So on the painting that I'm using here I've chosen to go with the masking option so you watch me through. So I'm going to start off with my 30mm flat brush. This is a favourite brush of mine, it's a Da Vinci brush and I can put a link in the comments as to where you can get this through the SAA. Um, but I'm going to start off with some gentle washes. As ever, I'm sure I know you, you love my palette, it's the messiest, dirtiest, most colourful palette um, but it has everything I need. So what I'm going to use here I'm going to be using, uh, I have some peacock blue and some ultramarine up here. I've got some gold down here. I'll be using a bit of the SAA silver at some point. I will use some burnt umber um, and some quinacridone gold. Probably a bit of yellow ochre as well. So that's kind of the colours that I'm going to use. So just bringing my reference back in, so we've got this really dark area at the back, really light area at the front and then our colourful bit in the middle. So we're just going to start off with a little bit of layering. Um, and just to say that my masking is completely dry, so that's where we need to be. Just to give me a little more control, I'm going to come in above my wave with just some water. Go backwards and forwards a couple of times just to make sure it's all fully wet. A little bit this side that hasn't. I've got a couple of drun runs and dribbles going on. That's fine by me. So I'm starting off here with some ultramarine. So this area at the back is quite dark. So I've got mostly ultramarine, a little bit of my burnt umber. So I'm creating this colour here, but it's still quite dilute and I've got my wet background. So to start off with, this is just going to get washed across. And then just as I come down in behind the wave, it gets a little bit brighter in blue. So I'm going to add a touch of my peacock blue in there as well. And that just gives me this slightly brighter colour coming down here. Now, I don't mind the runs, but I don't want puddles. So I'm just going to take those away. I quite like these but I know it scares some people so we'll just take take some of that out. Let's just get rid of these puddles. I'm going to put more layers up there but let's just start off with a little bit more. So again I'm just coming back in with the same colours and I just want up here to be a little darker, so I'm put, whilst it's still wet, I'm just putting a second layer on up there. And now I have to leave that alone because I can see that is drying off. Now, when it comes to this area at the front, my darkest area are these little patches in between, but I can't paint those first. I need to paint the top colour and we'll add into those, and I also have to leave these very light pieces out. So this one I'm going to do by uh, the method of just leaving things alone. So what I'm doing here, I'm not wetting the paper this time, I'm making a more dilute 
runny version of the colour I had before. So it's just got more water in it. Just bringing this along with some water. You can see it's quite a lot paler and that's purely down to the amount of water I've got. And then I'm going to leave a bit along the edge where I've got those lighter bits needed. Let's just bring you down a little. So here, I'm going to bring this colour. Ooh, that's an interesting little pink. That's fine. So I'm just leaving this little white edge, which is my brightest part. And I've got a few of those coming across. Now I've just left it and then I went over it. So what to do there? I'm just going to take my cloth and just bring that back out again, just lift it back out. We can play with all of this later. Now I know it looks like I'm painting this all blue, but this is all my, my white, it's just my dirty white. Now, I'm just picking up a slightly smaller brush here, so I've got, this is a number four round. I just want to soften this edge really, I don't want that edge to be a hard edge, so I'm just coming in with an almost dry brush, so I'm, I'm dabbing it off so I don't have much water on. And I just want to remove that line from the edge there. Okay, so we've got, let's just bring you back up to the whole thing. There we are, we can see the, the whole thing there. So I just need to get some of those brown colours into that central area. So I'm starting off with some burnt umber and some quinacridone gold that I've got here. Quite dilute. So I'm just looking at this area along here, then underneath I've got there, so I'm going to start again, it's just about layering, I'm starting with the lighter colour. Brown, into that area. Put it in, I washed and dried my brush off and I'll just spread that around a little. Clean and dry my brush, take away any puddles. So again I need a lighter version of this colour, so it's just a bit more dilute, a bit like I had up here. And I'm just bringing that through this area here. And as we did before, I'm just going to take a brush, soften some edges and get rid of some puddles. Now I've gone a bit, brought my water down a bit far here, so just softening that back with water, just wetting it. And then dabbing that out. Get rid of some puddles. Oh yeah, so I've got rid of some puddles. So we've got our colours. This is our frothy, foamy bit here. Here's our breaking wave. There's our underneath bit. And then that's along the top there. So we need to put all of our detail in. But if I just bring you in a little... If 
I just bring you in and we'll just have a little look along that line to see how loose I've got that at the minute. There we go. No detail whatsoever. And then I need to allow this to dry. So I'll come back to work into it tomorrow. So thank you for joining me today. Um, I hope that has given you an idea of where to start with this because I think the tendency is you want to go in with all the details straight away but this is just building those foundations um, and I find that my techniques that I use from acrylics do cross over into watercolours and I've learnt to let go a little bit um, and I'll add plenty of detail to it but I don't want to overdo it so I just need to let go a little. Um, so I've put that down, we'll leave it at that and come back in tomorrow and carry on. So see you tomorrow, same place, same time.